Good morning. We are headed to the California Closets showroom today. I don't know if you remember, but when we first moved into the house, I had a lady come over to design um, new closets for my husband and I. We have separate closets and they're a little, his is a little smaller than mine, but they're very similar in a lot of ways. But anyway, they have, um, they have a closet insert kind of thing in there with uh, drawers and you know shelving and all that kind of stuff, but they are falling apart a little bit. Um, they're usable and we've been using them just fine, but they're not the best. So I thought I'd have someone come in and design something for us and let's see what we thought. Well, we did that. And things just got in the way. You know how things just kind of happened really fast when we were when we were moving here, and it just kind of got stuck on the back burner. Well, I kind of totally forgot about it a little bit because I'm on so many other projects. The landscaping project is enormous right now. Um, we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, so I kind of forgot. And anyway, she contacted me just the other day saying that they're having kind of a rare sale. And was I still interested? And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, sure, I'll take another look. So I need to go, we have the design um, mostly. I need to tweak it, you know, a little bit for different things. Um, but I need to go to the showroom to like look at the different um, veneers and whatnot, the different wood tones and colors and knobs and all that kind of stuff and um, just see how it all works. So that's where I'm headed today and it'll be interesting. So hopefully we can come up with a plan and get that in the works and on sale too. Well, that was interesting. Um, she told me it would be difficult to find, but boy, I was, I gave it extra time. I've been driving around for probably 10 minutes trying to use the information she gave me. And I still was like, okay, I, I finally give up. So I tried to pull into this little area to park, to call her. As I did that, it's right next to me. So I made it and in time too. I have five minutes to spare. Well, that was quite interesting. Um, I, uh, it was an amazing looking place. You got to see all the different pieces and parts and, you know, the showroom and so forth. Um, and all the different colors of wood and the, you know, everything and, um, just design it right there on the screen and so forth. So we made some changes to the original plan and then, um, I went home and looked at my closet and looked at Jim's closet and then talked to him about it because he was home. He'd been on a meeting all morning and he got off the meeting. So I was talking to him about it and he and I kind of made some more changes. So then I jumped on a Zoom meeting with this lovely designer lady and um, was on there for over an hour trying to do some more designs, came up with other ideas. It's just been, it's just morphing into this, that, and the next thing. Um, it's getting crazy. So we have another plan analyzing that. I think I might go back to like the third plan. <laughs> it's terrible. In the meantime, um, Callie's birthday is tomorrow. So I am, and I always make her an angel food cake um, with sprinkles. It's just one of her things. That's what she likes. So I can't find my angel food cake pan at all since we moved. And I'm running into Target real fast to find an angel food cake pan hopefully they have one so gotta do that and gotta get home fast so yeah angel food cake here we go got the cake pan yay so today is Callie's birthday got up this morning made the cake found a pan I've got the cake in the oven yay and as soon as it was starting to cool Claire and Callan and I all went to Harry P. Lou Gardens in Orlando Gorgeous Gardens. We hadn't been there before. It was a place we wanted to go. So we did that for a couple hours, walked around, saw all the gorgeous plants. Um, so many beautiful things. Here's a little bit of that.
I just, I want every single one of them. I would love to live there. Um, it's just gorgeous. So anyway, went there, did that, came home, um, did a little work in my office, and now we are getting ready to go to Callie's birthday dinner. We are going to the, uh, what's it called? Track, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, it's at the Disney Boardwalk. I'll put it here, the name of the restaurant. So we're all getting ready to go there to celebrate her birthday dinner. And then we'll come home, eat the angel food cake, and open presents. So that's today. <laughs> So today is the day that they are going to start tearing out all the old bushes and grass areas and all kinds of stuff in the front and um, the back, some of it in the back too, mostly grass areas um, that are falling apart. Anyway, the landscapers are coming and it's gonna go down to the dirt pretty much. And uh, that starts the whole landscaping project. Um, but yeah, so, it, the bushes have been here since 2002, I think. So they're overgrown. It's all just bushes. <laughs> so we're trying to um, beautify a little bit out there. So I'm just kind of waiting for them to show up. It's supposed to happen today. I'm also meeting a friend for lunch. Um, we've had it scheduled for a long time, so I'm not going to skip out on that. But I'm hoping that the guys get started and the main guy um, that I'm working with, can uh, I can chat with him real quick. I hear something. Okay, anyway, um, they're not here yet, but uh, hopefully they'll get here before I have to leave for lunch, um, my lunch date with my friend. But that's what's happening, and it's going to be really, really weird that we're going to have dirt in the front <laughs> and a whole bunch of new stuff come in. So, anyway, <laughs> there's always something going on around here, I swear. Well, as luck would have it, <laughs> the landscaper people have not shown up um, yet to start the demolition of everything and I was hoping to catch them before I left. However, that's not going to happen. And the other fun bit is that about 45 minutes ago, I heard things happening and I ran out there and it was our regular landscape people doing our grass cutting and, you know, bushwhacking, <laughs> which all that stuff's going to be torn out. So <laughs> they trimmed it up real nice before it all gets torn out. I forgot to cancel them. So anyway, I don't think I'm going to catch um, my landscape designer guy and the crew before I leave for lunch. But like I said, I'm not missing this lunch for anything. And um, I'm sure they'll still be here when I get back, if they're even here then. So um, I might actually run to Costco after that uh, lunch because I'm kind of halfway there, a little over halfway there. So um, I think that might be a good plan because I have so many things at Costco that I want to check out. So that could happen. Okay, it's definitely looking like I'm going to leave before they come. So I don't even know when they're coming. So I'm just gonna not worry about it. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch and um, probably go to Costco. That's my guess. So yeah, I guess I can keep an eye on the house through the cameras on my phone to see if they're here, but I'm gonna try not to worry about it. So they really don't need me for anything. The plan is set. I just wanted to kind of be here, you know, to see it all start, so but no big deal. So I'm excited to go visit with my friend. I haven't chatted with her in a while. We've both been on trips since um, we last got together. So we have all kinds of things to talk about. So I'm very excited. So that'll be fun. Well, today was the first day, as you know, of the demolition of the bushes and all that stuff. Okay. So I head off to meet my friend for lunch. It was wonderful. It was so good talking to her. Um, yeah, just love her to pieces. Anyway, um, the like two minutes literally after I got out of the restaurant and sat down in my car, I got a text from the landscape guy saying that they, the machine thing that they were using to rip out the bushes, cut through the cables for our um, internet, um, our phone line, which we don't use for phone, but you know, it's the one that's hardwired to the house or whatever. Um, and for the security system and all that kind of stuff, um, and cable. So all that's been completely cut. So we don't have, um, any internet and, 
which is also our TV for streaming and things like that. And we don't do cable TV right now, so we have no, we don't have that anyway, too. And um, no, yeah, it's it's just a mess. It's an absolute crazy mess. So anyway, we've called tomorrow morning. They're supposed to come repair that. Um, the the one of the lines. I don't even know about the other ones right now. So I'm still dealing with that. Um, and the bushes have been torn out, which is so we have this big pile of bushes and things um, and dirt. An area of the walkway up to the front porch um, wasn't built properly, apparently. Quite just one little corner was built mostly on like sand or something. So the machine that was tearing out stuff kind of crushed that one section. So we're going to have to get that repaired. It's just, it's been only day one and it's just been insane. So these things happen when you do demolition and so forth. I get it. It's not, you know, I, I, I get it. It happens, but it's like, oh my gosh, what have we gotten ourselves into? So just wanted to share that with you. That's what's happening today. Gorgeous day outside though. It was fabulous. Um, there were, it was maybe a high of 72 degrees this morning. It was 58. So um, I got to wear like a lightweight sweater. It was great. I just felt like it was fall. So um, I hear that that's not very often happening this time of year here. So it was great. And people were, you know, out and about wearing more like, like sweaters and, you know, things like that. So it was kind of cute. So it was just definitely a crisp, beautiful um, blue sky cool day and it was wonderful. It definitely felt autumn-like, which I really enjoyed. So that was good. Oh, I did not go to Costco after the lunch. I planned to because I was already basically halfway there. Um, but with all that happening, I decided to just come home and, you know, fight fires, so to speak. So that's what I've been doing. And hopefully tomorrow, after the people come to repair one of the lines, depending on how things go with the other people repairing all the other things, um, I'm going to maybe try to go tomorrow because I'm really hoping to get a few things before they're sold out and so forth. So that's the plan anyway. So maybe Costco tomorrow. We can hope. We'll see. Maybe. So I made it to Costco finally. Um, the guy fixed the cable thing for our internet, um, but I'm still working on the phone line, uh, the landline to the house, which is part of the, you know, calling for security system and all that stuff. Um, so anyway, that's happening so far, but I thought I'd quickly run to Costco. And so I'm here, I filled up on gas and heading in. Yay, I'm finally here. <laughs> this is worth the trip every year to get their wired ribbon in colors that can go with everything all year long. $7.99 for this enormous amount of wired ribbon. So good. Costco Monopoly. That could be fun. Giant pumpkin pies, five ninety nine. It's getting crowded. Okay, I'm back from Costco. It became a zoo toward the end. It was like I got there about twenty minutes after they opened, and was there for about two hours and by noon, it, you couldn't even hardly walk through the place. It was just like the day before Christmas or something. I don't know. So anyway, I did make it through and I made it home and I thought I'd quickly show you what I ended up with. More than I wanted, but you know, it happens. Okay, I got a box of bows because we just not, did not bring any of them with us when we moved. Um, yeah, uh, some Rouse Alfredo sauce, good stuff. Some little cheesy things for snacking. Love those. Jim's a huge fan of these little chocolate chip cookies. Got a Costco rotisserie chicken. And then these are the wired um, ribbons that I got. See, they're big. Um, these are the colors I got. Those can last for many different things, but mostly for Christmas. But the white and this can go for other things and stuff. So anyway, 
um, some of this sparkling juice beverage. I thought I'd give those a try. No sugar added, etc. Looking kind of good. Husband loves these um, little individually wrapped Belgian waffles. Kitchen trash bags. Got some a variety pack of different chips and some candy for people to choose, you know, several of what they want for when they come for trick-or-treating. Got some small paper plates. These will last us forever. We don't use them very often, but when we do, it's good to have around. My daughter broke <laughs> a toilet brush, so I needed another one, and I found a set of two, so that'll work well. Um, smoked and seasoned shredded brisket. There are things I can do with this for sure, so that looks really good, plus I'm hungry, so that really looked good. And then I thought I'd try this, a Korean-style crunchy chicken with soy garlic sauce. That sounds delicious, so got that. Then also... I've been told that these are really good. They are Pima cotton and uh, 680 thread count, so I thought I'd give that a try. Got this book, I've had it recommended to me many times, so I thought I may as well just go ahead and do that. Bought these um, lounge pants. They looked like they'd be cute and they're lightweight, which is good, and it's a set of two. And I got some like socks for sneakers. And I got two of these. I wanted them to be kind of on the bigger side. So I got these. They're just sort of, um, you know, half zip things. Little, you know, with the finger holes and whatever. Got these two colors for walks in the neighborhood and that kind of thing. This puzzle, 500-piece puzzle, Costco. I thought that's cute. We can kind of work on that um, over the holidays or whatever. And I had to get the Monopoly. It's another thing we'll do over the holidays. It'll be fun as a family thing to do. And a, another set of scissors because we are always searching for scissors around here, even though I swear we have a ton. Never can find them when we need them. So I just thought this would be handy. And that is what I got. So now I need to put all this stuff away and try to figure out how to get the um, phone thing fixed now. That line that's broken. Fun. Thanks for joining me for all of this craziness and life. Um, I'll talk to you guys real soon, I'm sure. Bye.